check out this big black can. Hey everyone, it's Sean from Pew Pew Tactical and today we're taking a look at the Silencer Central Banish 46. Now this thing can handle everything all the way up to 4570. We're going to test it out between 9 and 4570 and we'll let you know what we think coming up. Guys, one of the first attachments we're going to use is the pistol piston. It just screws right into the back here and allows you to mate up with a pistol. Now, this is going to be pretty funny looking on the end of a pistol, but hey, we're here to do the testing for you so you don't have to. All right, guys, we're not doing anything scientific here. We don't have a decibel meter. We're just going to listen and hear the difference the can makes, but we're mainly focusing on the utility of a suppressor that can run from 22 all the way up to 4570. We're going to use three different attachment points, and we're going to show you just how useful the Vanish 46 is. Okay, first off, we're gonna use an HK VP9. We're shooting 158 grain subsonic nine millimeter. We're gonna use this without the can just to get a general idea how it sounds. All right, okay. So this looks a little absurd. Uh, installing an enormous can on this VP9. It's bigger than the gun itself but I imagine that we'll get some pretty good sound reduction. Again, same ammo. Let's see how it sounds. Wow. This is a pretty significant reduction. Wow. All right, guys, so along those lines, we can actually shorten the Banish 46 by installing this tool in the end and removing this cap, then take off this section to reduce the overall length, and then reinstall the cap. So if you are using it for a pistol, it's not as long as we originally tested it. Now you'll probably lose some of the decibel saving that you might have, but otherwise it would shorten the length quite a bit. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Don't be cruel. We've come this far. There we go. Okay, so we're back with the VP9 and we've shortened the overall length of the Banish 46. We're going to try a couple more rounds and just see if it's much different. It's a little bit louder, but not too bad. This is the next attachment point for the Banish 46. It's a direct thread. This one is a half by 28, but they have different sizes available and you can just simply screw it into the back of the can and you're good to go for a direct thread mount. All right, folks, we're gonna move on to a PCC. This one is a Kalashnikov in nine mil. Now, unfortunately, our armor forgot to bring the magazines, but we're gonna move forward anyway. I'm gonna drop this in. And I'm gonna close this and we're gonna fire it just to see what kind of sound we're dealing with here. Now let's add the can. <laughs> Big and wobbly. Okay. Well, again, we've got this Banish 46 installed on the Kalashnikov here. We're gonna let, not let anything like a missing magazine stop us. I'm gonna drop our nine mil in. <laughs> now we're going to drop our 9 mil in and see how much sound savings we get on this. This is pretty good. All right, guys, we're moving up to an AR pistol. It's got some PMC 55 grain here. We're going to install this and try it without the suppressor. Just see what it sounds like. pretty loud. So this one is also direct thread, half by 28. And now we're going to try same ammo, even though it wasn't necessarily the fairest comparison because we didn't have a muzzle device on before, but we expect there to be a pretty significant improvement in the sound with this one.
It's a little bit of blow back there. I'm picking up on that, but uh, it's a lot quieter, obviously, than uh, when we shot it without a muzzle brake. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to 300 Blackout. This time we're using some Federal 220 grain subsonics. But before we mention that, let's take a look at this attachment point. This is the next one. This is a muzzle device, but also capable of receiving the Banish 46. Let's try and fire around, unsuppressed, and see how that sounds. Okay, in order to test, the 300 blackout, we're going to remove the direct thread half by 28 and install Silencer Central's muzzle device adapter. This goes right over the top of their brake. So we're gonna take the Banish 46 and put it right on top of their muzzle device and thread it on. And again, this is the 300 blackout that we're going to be testing this one. Just going to fire one shot and see how we feel about the sound. Very quiet. A little bit of blowback, but uh, manageable. Oh man. We are almost at the end of this ride and the final destination is the vaunted 4570 Dinosaur Hunter. Now this is a 405 grain Remington core lock. We're gonna be shooting it out of a Henry X chambered in the same. So first we'll load this bad boy up, fire a couple of rounds and see what kind of sound we get before we install the Banish 46. Wow! <laughs> okay, so we just used the adapter for the Silencer Central muzzle device. We're gonna take that off now and go back to a direct thread for the 4570. This is obviously bigger than the half by 28. We're switching up to a 5 8 by 24 direct thread. And this will go right on the end of the muzzle of the Henry X and 4570. Let's do it. All right, so we've worked our way up from nine millimeter through the more popular calibers. And again, we're coming to rest at the 4570. Can the Banish 46 tame this enormous round? Got it mounted up to the Henry X, and we're gonna find out. Pretty impressive difference. No blowback at all, that was nice. And look at that thing smoke. Gah! All right, we've got the Banish 46 here. We're gonna have full stats for the reduction of noise and everything else over on the website, pewpewtactical.com. So head over for the full article over there. But our final thoughts on this can is really one can to rule them all. If you've got anything from a 22 all the way up to a 4570, this is the way to go. It's user serviceable and you also have three different attachment methods that you can use to plug it onto different items. Now, if you're wanting pistols only, it's probably gonna be a little bit much, but you can also shorten it by removing a section on the end here. So thanks for watching, we appreciate it.